Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about how I grocery shop. This is what I have learned over my adult life, which isn't that long, but I feel like I have learned a lot of good tips that have taken me from like aimlessly wandering around the grocery store, buying a lot of crap I don't need, to getting in, getting out, and I really enjoy grocery shopping now. So first off, I do grocery shopping once a week. I do grocery shopping. I go grocery shopping once a week. And lately that has been Friday mornings because that just works out for me. The next one is you can go full blown um, meal planning, meal prepping. I have done that before. It works dandy. Um, but you don't have to go to like a super extreme if you don't want to. You can look at what meals you've been really enjoying lately, what ones you want to cook that week. I don't pick out a meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for seven days. <laughs> I almost said seven weeks. Seven days. I don't do that. I kind of look at, right, for breakfast, I know lately I've been having smoothies, so I need to get manas and frozen fruit for that. Um, and then recently with the whole raw vegan for the summer thing, I have been eating a lot of fruit, um, a lot of salads, raw tacos, and it kind of makes, raw vegan almost makes my shopping list easy because all I have to do is buy fruits and vegetables and I really enjoy, enjoy, enjoy buying fruits and vegetables. Make a shopping list that is, should be above do it once a week. Go with a shopping list, go with a plan in mind. It makes it so much easier. The days that I don't go with shopping lists, I buy way more food than I need to, I spend money I shouldn't be spending, and I get things that I don't eat and go bad. So then I look at my shopping list, and I then break it up into stores. So I go to a store for all of my bulk produce. I go to another store for smaller things that I don't necessarily need in bulk, or I know it won't be in that store. The great thing about knowing what you want and for me personally, all my stuff is in one section, the produce section. I can make a beeline for that part of the store instead of like, I feel like a lot of people just kind of walk up and down each aisle and they're like, okay, I need that. All right, I should get some of those. And it just takes them forever and they get things they don't need. So I know exactly where I need to go in the store and I get there fast. And then I can kind of enjoy and look around. So the next thing I do once I get there, usually I don't say like, I want Fuji apples or lady pink apples or that kind of stuff. I don't put like particular kinds of things. Um, and then once I get to the store, I'll look at which product has the best price or if there's something on sale. And then I will get that within one product. Does that make sense? I don't know. Buy only what you need. And if something that is on your list is for some reason like astronomically really expensive, don't get it. Um, you can find another option or make something else work weigh things that you don't normally buy um if it is like per pound earlier this week i had my first watermelon of the year because i've been scoping it out and it's been super expensive but now it's starting to get cheaper but a couple weeks ago i saw a watermelon and it was like 88 cents a pound i'm like 88 cents a pound that's great because usually they see things that are like two or three bucks a pound and I looked at it and I kind of picked it up. I was like, this is probably only a couple pounds. I was like, okay, this is great. And I like started to walk towards the register with it. And then I was like, weigh it, Victoria, weigh it. This little voice said. So I went back and I popped it in the produce weigher and it weighed 11 pounds. So that was going to be like a 10 pound watermelon, which I don't know. It wasn't what I was willing to spend. I got a, water, a great watermelon just a couple days ago, yesterday, in fact. Um, and I paid six bucks for it. Sometimes I'll get in a rut of having the same things every single week and some weeks that works great for me because I love those but sometimes I get bored with that and I need to expand a little and then that's when I will pick out new recipes and get stuff for that. But recently it's been really simple because I just buy a bunch of fruit and vegetables and nuts and it's been, I've been really enjoying it and it's nice because like I went and worked out tonight um, and then I got home, like on the way home, I was like, ah, I'm going to eat mango. Um, and I ended up eating mango and apple with like a little bit of cinnamon on the apples and a little bit of walnut butter for my apples. And it was delicious and filling. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below with your grocery shopping questions or tips or any of that jazz. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.